boys, it's my mother Janice and my sister Jenny. And we have a special guest again, uh, my bro our brother, my mom's son, Antoine. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Day. Mother's yeah. Day. Happy, Mother's Day. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Uh, okay, we have a few topics. So our first topic is uh, we have learned that black homeowners, when they have a president on their home, they're giving them less value. But the minute that they say it's a white person's home, they felt it actually, the appraisals actually go up. So we're going to discuss that. Kevin, Kevin Samuels, I don't know why we give him any attention. And then 11-year-old uh, <laughs> Jamari Oliver, who was accused of stealing a sandwich at a, a Safeway grocery store in San Francisco. Little Boosie and his comments about TV having a gay agenda and more. So let's start off with black homeowners being at a disadvantage when selling their homes. So apparently you've been following this article, yeah, this story. I, I have. Um, so once their house is put on the market, they have appraisals done and they're valuing the home at a Or lesser. just if they even think about it and get an appraisal yeah. on their home. Even if they don't decide to sell their home. If they decide to get an appraisal okay. to see the worth of their property, mm -hmm. it's thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars less than what it would be if they had saw that it was white people living there. And how this has been proven is mul there have been multiple stories I've noticed recently where uh, first it was um, a black and white couple. It was a black woman and a white man. They had an appraisal. They noticed the pictures of people of color, black people on the walls, and the appraiser gave them an uh, insignificant price, like usually less than what they actually paid for the house. Mm. And so uh, the wife had an idea like, hey, let's take all the pictures of all the black people down and make it look like it's just you. Yeah, that right like the here. second time. And, 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 and it was like, you, and it was like a hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars more mm -hmm. in the appraisal when it was him by itself. Just recently, the story I came across, it was a woman on her own who got an appraisal on uh, her house. She felt like it was, what, she's like, I put way more money into this house than what you're telling me it's worth. And so she was like, one day, I'm going to do it again. Had her white friend step in, $100,000 more than what they had told her. It, it, and it's like, people will like to say, oh, this country isn't racist. There is no systemic racism. And why the fuck is that? Why would that happen? Why would we have to have white people come into our homes to say what our homes are worth? Like, just us living here makes it less of value? It made no sense. And, and and that's my thing. No disrespect to other nations or anything like that, but I really believe we should go back to segregation. I mean, that that's for the benefit of my people, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, well, segregation we, we had it, we had it, work. we had it, but we had it better. But, we had our stock market. Yeah, we had our, yeah. We had a, like, we just had a way. I get better. what you're saying. I get what, you're absolutely right what you're saying, but also you have to think about when segregation was going on. We were, our, even though our communities were driving, we were getting bombed and killed, and we, our communities yeah. destroyed. There was no kind of re uh, uh, re reconciliation for all of that I'm, done. I'm, I'm and then we're told we don't deserve reparations I'm, when all of that shit happened when, when we were thriving on our own. If we decided to go back to segregation, it would be that same shit. But they look, can't, no, they me, can't pull say, that stuff yeah, now. They wouldn't be able to, to, see, and now. that's the thing, though. See, that's one thing we don't do, like, we, that hey, we need dude, to start he said, doing. He said, hey, y'all, happy Mother's Day. Hi, dude, this, thank this, you. This, thank this you. What we, what's up, bro? This is what we need to start doing. When stuff like that happens, we need to retaliate. You know what I'm saying? And when situations arise where they want to come and arrest somebody, we stand up there and say, you, you ain't taking them. You will have to take us all, and it's going to be a big If we did things like that, I'm telling you, it, it, it's all about the benefit of us. You know what I mean? And I because feel you know the what? only if way... You notice White people is really scared when it's a lot of black, black people, people and they not too many of them. But you know what's work. funny? Is that now that y'all say that, it's like there's a video Maurice actually posted and that I shared on a page of this white man describing how he was lived in an all-white sub suburban area. Mo he said mostly white suburban area. And a black f family moved across the street and one of his white lady neighbors came up to him and said, uh, do you know who's moving into that house? And he was like, no, and, he, and she's like, a black family, aren't you worried? He's like, 
no, why would I be worried? This is in the 1960s. And he was, and he said, uh, and it's like, well, what if they have kids? And he was like, I hope they do have kids, you know? He was like, in fact, I hope I have a daughter so that maybe she'd think about dating my son. And, like, he was real cool about it, but the woman comfortably came up to him. It was like that. And he said that, you know, uh, they ended up becoming friends with the neighbors, and they, loved, they did have a daughter. They went to her graduation party, and that how they were the only white family there that came to their party, but that they had the best times of their life, and how he told the dad, look, we need to keep doing this. Like, like he, he, he wasn't thinking like that, but a lot of people do. She felt comfortable enough to come up to him and say some shit like that. I don't feel comfortable in that community, and I don't feel comfortable with them uh, uh, white police officers in my community. I well, don't. you know what it is? It's not even necessarily that, because I think about the, you know who Officer Tommy Norman is? Tommy Norman. Why did that sound very, He's a very uh, popular uh, police officer. He's a white guy. No, he's, uh -huh. he's in uh, Little Rock. Arkansas. Oh, the one that be playing with the kids. Yes, and stuff? he okay. Like the whole community knows him. He literally, genuinely cares and loves the people around him. And I was like, he does community policing. Like he lives in the area. He knows these people. He sees them when he's off duty, and they all love him. The whole area loves him. And this, and the reason why this would be a good thing. What it is, is we need more community policing. You should not have officers that live outside of the community coming into the community to police because they're thinking, I'm coming here to assert authority yeah, rather than I'm coming to make sure show. everybody here is yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. Whereas he, like, let's say something does in, in Tommy, Officer Tommy Norman's area. If, if something were to happen, some kind of crime, he can trust and believe that he would go into that neighborhood and they'd be like, oh, it was so-and-so. Because they challenge. trust him. Mm -hmm. right, they see, trust him. That, I'm the community mm -hmm. have your own little and he's a white man and they love I like he what, 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 made me feel like there's hope for police officers like if, if more you people were like you have like one in uh, one out of every community if there's one out of every community and then the thing about it is it's just like there's ways if we we need, I don't know like, because we there black, ways a lot of black police officers are like yeah. yeah they treat you worse than the white but there see. there may be ways but we I, can't I feel control better I feel so better we can't determine I, if it's gonna I, happen or not you know I, I, like we just yeah. just can't I feel better a black officer doing me wrong than I do I mean, I do, that makes me more mad because I mean, you know what we're going like, why would you be this way to me you already know I do yeah. I mean, police got a bad stigma, period. All this stuff that's been going on, and I don't know, it's just like... It, it's a bad stigma because they, they, they punish the good ones like and yeah. they reward the bad mm -hmm. ones. And you want to say it's only a few ba bad apples, but it's I'm, a I'm lot. All it's not a bad apples. I'm, way I'm, 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 all, I'm all for seg segregation and, and, and us and making our own constitution and us having our own. I, I'm all for it. For real, I mean, no disrespect to other nations. But if you like notice, that, the black people that do have money, they rather buy diamonds, and that's the thing. We have to move to right white neighborhoods, and, and then they trying to get you out of the mm -hmm. neighborhood, you know. And them diamonds are so We need to worthless. put more money into ourselves. Yes, we do. Yeah. We need to put money into building our but, own but schools. But the thing and is, is this, we... You know what, that... each other down too much. That Honestly, makes me think of Dr. Uh, what's his name, Umar Johnson? He, got a he has a school that he's he's building. I think it's in New York, and he said that the school could be up and running if people like um, plumbers and electricians donated their time instead of asking to be paid. Just donated their time, the school would be up and running. But nobody of the black yet, of the black race wants to donate. And, and, that's and, the sad thing. and that is yeah. But that, but, and that's but why? That is really sad. He's been getting like, that is. They that's should be dragging they, themselves. They, they, and they should do it. Help. They right. should do it for free and, and yeah. put their kids in mm -hmm. that school. Yeah. And that's another thing I was thinking about today. artists come from New York that could like famous really, yeah, that, that could really, just donate and help them out. Like why wouldn't you want to have a charter? Because it's helping. Black person. If right. it was somebody white, them black people be donated all they time. Well, it's crazy. Is, and you know, I kind of get it. I mean, a lot of I agree with a lot of what Dr. Umar said. Yeah, I do too. I agree with but too. people feel like he's kind of a grifter, and he kind of comes off as a grifter, and he does what have some views where he's just because he's gotten donations, millions of dollars. He's gotten in donations, but it's not and there is no that. school that. But there so they saying he's spending he's the saying money on he's, himself. He's living a lavish life. But he literally, but he literally said time. 
Donate but, your time. But, but he already, no, what they're saying is they, they already, already made some of those got money. millions of dollars but, from these people. But you and there is millions no to build it. Yeah, that's what but they, if you you're think, telling me millions of dollars couldn't build a school? You could build a school with $500,000. But if you think about the stuff that has to go into it, there's certain codes you have but to meet. But with it's that certain, kind of money, you can pay the plumbers. You can pay the... He's talking about some don't ask for money. Why not? What, what is the, where's the money the, the But you still got to factor children. in he has to pay the teachers. He's going to yeah. have to pay for supplies. He's going to have to pay for the... Like, millions you have to dollars think about that. that. What he paying? Like, how do you know? That he doesn't have, he but him? how do you know he doesn't have set aside for the for uh, educational things like the books, the supplies to pay the teachers? Maybe he needs somebody to come out like a plumber, electrician like to do the job. I can go ahead and play the plumbers, to, and if I had yes. the money, and then pay the teachers later because as your school goes, that's when the money comes. You get more yeah. money. Why should that work? But isn't it money? Why don't just step in there and start getting paid? But this is a public. And you don't want to no, run out of you don't want to run out of money in the middle of the school year because then people going. I think that people is, already been donated to him and he got a lot of money. They want to know where the money is went. going. Yeah. yeah, if there's still well, no school and you already got millions of dollars, come and on. What kind of car is you driving? And that's another but thing that's really. Do we question those in white communities? We, they, they got schools. They, 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 they got schools. They got all the resources. They got schools. They got the best everything. You know what they, I was they, thinking about today? I was thinking about how, like, I'll be watching these videos of, like, all these black people going to, um, like, Johnny Dang and them and stuff like that, spending all this money with these Asian jewelers. Like, it really makes me hurt my feelings because, like, when, like how Will opened 402 and had all the music thing, like uh, with seven cities of local uh, 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 artists and stuff. Uh, Shout out to India. Yeah, yeah. someone from uh, India tuning in. Thank you India. so much. Thank you. And uh, like how we never support each other. Like somebody will open up a clothing business and it just mm -hmm. seems like we still continue That's to go because, there. like, you know how that thing where I said this, I think last week on our show, how we will, or not on our show, I said it like on social media, I believe, uh, how we will be so quick to cut off uh, a black business for the slightest thing that yeah, they do wrong. Right. We we'll put like up with the most horrifying stuff from that big business true. like Walmart. We'll keep going to Walmart if we get treated wrong at Walmart. Mm -hmm. But the moment we uh, get treated bad at a black owned business that we're trying I'm like to see what they're about. Oh, I'm done. I'm telling everybody how horrible you are. Mm -hmm. But you'll go to a big corporation and keep going to that big corporation over and over again no matter how horrible you're treated. Like, like uh, it's a great yeah. black business that I did want to shout out uh, Mama's Kitchen on 30th. Uh, they serve excellent food. I have been there a couple of times. I'm going to go there. That sounds familiar. Uh, uh, it's in that little plaza, in that little building on 30th by the gas station. In Omaha, Nebraska. In, in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, yeah, it's Mama's Kitchen and uh, Brittany's, uh, Brittany's people own that restaurant. But they've been on um, they've been on Food Network, uh, uh, oh, Guy awesome. Richie. Uh, and then Obama been there. Oh, wow. And that's they, here in Omaha? Yeah, they got pictures all on the wall. Uh, John cool. Witherspoon been oh, there. That's what's up. And, uh, How long have they been open? They've been open for a minute. It's business. a black business? Yes, yeah, a black business. Oh, all wow. black cooks. They make cheesecakes. They make all the Let's things. go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They have this thing called an Afro burger. It's like, uh, like a hot dog, but it's like rolled up hamburger meat and it's like fried. And uh, they put macaroni and cheese on it. It's really far. It's really good. I've been there a few times. And I had that right. fish sandwich that I had that. And I had a, a fish sandwich. The fish sandwich was bomb fried, mm -hmm. crispy. Well, promoting a, a black business, Mama's Kitchen. I'm going to make Mama's sure I go there. Mama's Kitchen and uh, Cajun Kitchen, too. Yeah, so like. That's another thing I want to stop. I want to stop eating at Burger King and McDonald's and start supporting Ooh, them. they starting to mess up. Get yeah, your cold bad. food. It's just yeah, terrible. It's and they don't the even care. Sit. And people the still stuff sit. go. Mm -hmm. I'm good. stopping. Ain't none of that healthy. I, didn't, I recently was just working at Burger King. Burger King was my second job. I went in there and I was appalled. Uh, not Appalled? <laughs> <laughs> appalled. I, I was. I'm not going to lie how nasty it was yeah, back there. Yeah, you'd be surprised. And how, 
they don't pour the grease off the meat. They, and this is not to flame Burger King or take anything away from Burger King. Take it away McDonald's. from Burger King. I'm just keeping it real. Because y'all need to be more clean. It's not healthy to have the kids eating, like babies eating there, for real. I don't. But my thing is supporting local black businesses. I'm going to go in there, Mama's Kitchen. And we should Mama's support kitchen. all businesses. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Not just black Yeah, all this is not. No, we need to know. All, all businesses, businesses being supported. We all, all good businesses, businesses deserve business. I want to. I want to go. I just yeah. want to go to a place to where they, they have, they have they excellent have customer business. service. Yes, the food is delicious. If I'm buying clothes, the clothes is awesome. Like I, for me, I'll support whatever business is giving what we're I need. Not, to but see, yes, we're not I don't, don't want to. We're not. Gonna, I don't want to. You know. Like, yeah, we're not going to make it just Look at this, though. I'm saying give black people. All I'm saying is in, in we order, need to give black people a chance. Because the yeah. moment you have one bad experience, you all of a sudden they trash it. Like, like it could have been that one we gotta person. Understand, it though. doesn't mean it's the whole business. Got, That's all I'm saying. It's like got, give them a chance the same way I'll give big corporations. But we got to understand, though, in order for them, them black businesses to be able to help our community, we have to so support them. Yeah, I agree. No, I'm I saying, agree. yeah, support. Yeah. Definitely. Like, we can't just exclude Look at this, though. McDonald's minimum wage back in 95. McDonald's. McDonald's minimum Walmart. wage back. Look at this. Scram, Their minimum Walmart. wage yeah. back in 95 was five, five, seventy-five okay. or something like that. And in and, and, and 2017, I worked at, uh, 2007, I worked at uh, McDonald's, and I was only making seven twenty-five. So then you agree that the minimum wage should be raised? No, I, I agree that them white corporations are greedy. <laughs> they, they are greedy. I mean, McDonald's make a billion and some dollars a, a year. You know what I'm saying? And, and well, uh, there are also but big, Mc, but McDonald's and Burger King, they are. What the fuck is that word? It's not. They're um, when other people purchase the businesses. So, uh, oh, you're talking about franchises. Yes, there are mm -hmm. franchises. So it's not just like it's one set of people that owns all the McDonald's in the world. Like I know Chris Brown owns some. Black that own. Chris Brown owns some McDonald's. Or yeah, shout out to uh, Rick Ross. I bet you he makes them the cook Jackers. that food and that food be hot. You know? Yeah. I'm and that's the thing, thing like godly people. That's the thing. Godly people do not like to play with people's food. Have you ever noticed that? Like when yeah. I was working there. At night, they would keep that like sauce that. out I, I, in that I, same yeah, sauce I think container. That's completely disrespectful yeah. and disgusting. I don't care how like, irritated I am. I would never fuck with somebody's food. Like, like the stepper like, sauce. They used to have the yeah. same yeah. container every day. And I would tell them, like, this stuff is getting bad. Get and they would out. say, no, uh, leave it like that. People like it like that. I was just so disgusted. Like, right? and, and godly people. I mean, when I, like like I, meet, I meet people that work in fast food. Restaurants and they always tell me a story like this, and it really just makes you like, man, I never want to. Shout, shout out to Broncos, though. <laughs> That's one thing I can say about Broncos. Yeah. Broncos, uh, they don't mess around when it comes to fresh food and hot food and stuff like that. Broncos. I, I, that's, uh, uh, at least the one on Leavenworth. At least the one on Leavenworth. Props yeah. to my son. Props yeah. <laughs> to my son. Props to my son. He does great. Yeah, yeah. they, they, they his, doing real good. His business. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 I feel you on business having good customer service. Why would I come back if I'm not comfortable with what I've seen from the corporation? Yes, I, I totally agree with that. I just feel like with black businesses, we shouldn't let one encounter the right, right. whole thing. Because right, we'll, we'll, be we'll, we'll, we won't do that when it comes to big businesses like Walmart, McDonald's, mm -hmm. Wendy's, and all of that stuff. We'll keep coming back like, oh, those workers, are, I'm going to come to a different shift when there's different people here. Like, we should do that with black businesses. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I say. Or if they make a mistake, give them a chance. Them Still a chance. go back and just to see if it happens over and over. But yeah, I would not continuous, I would not continuously support. Yeah. But I haven't, I haven't had like, constantly. Like Mama's up. Kitchen was so. Man, I, I haven't had no customer service like that ever. You know what I mean? And then like the main lady, she made a fresh cheesecake <laughs> and, and pulled it out and you know cut it from. It was just a good time, you know. And they was back there having fun and. 
they was all family and you know what I mean? I'm thinking like they love their job. You can tell when a person loves what they do. And you can tell yeah. that that business was getting them kids into college, their kids into college and stuff like that. I just That's good. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna def I definitely gonna try it. Speaking of businesses, like um the what was it, Safeway? Oh, okay, oh, yeah, our next in story. San Francisco. See, this is crazy. Yeah. yeah, moving along to our next story. Okay, so Safeway Grocery Store in San Francisco. 11-year-old boy, Jamari Oliver, he purchased a sandwich. On his way to school. Yes, had a, he received a receipt and everything. Then he was stopped, and they accused him of stealing the sandwich. Then and not he only did he the provide the proof that he paid by having his receipt, they still have to wait for a supervisor to come and let the boy go. He, like held him hostage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, now things like and, that and should have your business shut down. Yeah. But but, but the, there's a went, good ending to the story. Yeah. Okay. He went to school. The teachers noticed that he wasn't really being himself. They was like, "What's wrong?" He told them what happened, and they went and protested the business. Oh good. And mm -hmm. um, that's good. But they offered this. Young, they asked uh, twenty the store because they were car. tired of the school. The people at the school were protesting. Offered him a twenty-five dollar gift card for the mm -hmm. inconvenience. No, that's some bullshit. And mm -hmm. then they supposedly got rid of the workers that held him there at the store. But what is the point of having a receipt? Yeah, if you're not receipt. gonna believe it anyway, like he literally provided. Yeah, he's I did. Child. And he's eleven years old. Hey, lucky he wasn't mine. He's 11 years old, but he had a whole school behind him, well, and they even recognized like he didn't even say nothing. He didn't even come out and say, "I went through this." They just saw something was wrong with him and asked him to talk about it. When he told them, they were like, "Oh, hell no! This is some bullshit." Because how you gonna? Hold the person hostage when they show you that they paid for mm -hmm. the yeah. item that they have. You know how at Walmart they got the people waiting to look at your receipts to make and sure they can't tell that they paid for it or not. Yes. About that is when we usually, well, before we would never have our receipt out, like you know, harass us for it. But lately, I come we and we're like, I'm like, oh, we will walk up, up to them and be like, here's your receipt. Like, oh no, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they don't do but it. But let us try to hide the receipt. And uh, uh, I'm yeah. gonna see what's out there. They on me. They be on me when I. <laughs> I'll well, I tell you what, the stop them on the receipt. I, I have the receipt. That's, right what we do. that's all we do. We walk up to them like, oh no, you're good, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it be all kinds of shit in our bags. <laughs> we shop a lot. Yeah, we, that, we that, need to that, buy that, a lot. And that's another shit. thing. We need a chain of grocery stores owned by black people. Like, you know what? I think the most important thing that black people need to do, as far as like economic growth and and, and just that's the only way to be white supremacy. We need to be mm -hmm. yeah. more in the vegetables and yeah. gardening where we grow our own food. And that's the only way to be. Like that. That's, that's the only that way. And I want a garden. I want a farm. I really do. I really, you've always wanted a farm. Like, I think, I, but I, I really think, think that would be think awesome. Gardening, gardening would help a com any community. Yeah. Gardening and growing your own do, do, fruits do. and vegetables would help you. You, know, so you know a lot of them fruits and, and vegetables in the grocery stores nowadays is not. Yeah, really. they're not. Are, they're, even the stuff that you be in our organic okay. sections, you're like, something's not right about this. Yeah, you know, I thought that, it was weird when they had cotton candy flavored grapes. Right. I'm like, how yeah, the fuck does this exist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, got some, some kind of cotton. Yeah, like yeah. you put, you shot these then, grapes up with some kind of juice. In them. They and then doing that too. Yeah, seedless stuff. Uh, having a garden and having a business that provides generational wealth. Yeah, yeah. it really does. So whatever you, you're able to obtain now, hold on to, pass down to your kids, and come down to their kids, kids, and save, save. And I can say I'm guilty because I love the shop. But it's very important to save your money. Mm -hmm. You can even invest in stock. Yes. You know, um, I love the line that, um, damn it, my mind is going blank because I'm a little tipsy. Um, and Daddy Boy, when he, the stepdad was playing to Tyrese, like stocks and bonds and things like that, like you can, you can really yeah, can have generational down. wealth if you listen to your money. Yeah, save your money. Stop thinking of business. Uh, quick money. What it is is people yeah. want quick money yeah. instead of thinking of over time. Like when yeah. you have a old, they call that old money. Yeah, you have that old money. Like when you have a 401k and stuff and you constantly building and building and building, mm -hmm. building off of that, that shit grows and adds Stocks up. and bonds, you know, I think. But you're okay with paying a dollar a day for somebody to sell something trivial. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you're okay with spending $150 on some shoes, but you're not yeah. okay with having that, that, you know, the college fund or sitting in your account, you know, over time just 
Yeah, economic, economic, you want to build the, the yeah. key to generational wealth is building your wealth. And that's building. how we be. That's how we beat white yeah. supremacy. Not getting economic money to spend power. money. Economic, yeah. economic power is how we beat white supremacy. Well, I'll tell you how to, to be honest, how the white people got over. Black people that had insurance and stuff happened, they wouldn't pay them. Right. But the white people they did because black people. Well, that was due to racism. No, but I'm just saying. That's how mostly white people got I their mean, money from back in from the day. From insurance, like, from their family and stuff like that. Because like what we but were when saying, a black person had their insurance, even though they paid their premiums, they never got paid it. them what they were owed. Like the community, they the have a country. habit. They all had insurance. I can tell you, they just have a habit, and they still do it to this day. They will not pay a black they person exactly nice what they owe. They will not pay you what you owe. They owe me money and still trying not to pay me. You know, trying to make up an excuse when you already know and it's how your it's money. And that's what's that's what what making me mad. Be your money. Yeah, it be my money I put in there. That's what upsets me because they refuse to pay you, and then they black people need to try to do something for themselves. Pull themselves up by your yeah. stress. How will you keep taking you stuff? Like the video was just watching Martin Luther King. He even said he said to tell a man. To pull him up himself up by his bootstraps when he ain't even got no boots. Yeah. It's See, ridiculous. <laughs> we, I think we all need to support that like I, I just remember exactly what you but Antoine was just playing. I, I just I feel we all need to like um I I don't know the word for it. what do you call it? like uh but we need um a circle of black people that do help poor people up, you know what I mean? Like when, uh, uh, sure like how, you know how elder, no uh, no uh, elders, no like reason. we should no never reason. let, we should never let an elder uh, lose their home. We should, it should always be a group of black people that can come in, like, uh, uh, Farrakhan and them do. Most, like, we should most be able to black come in people and, is so damn jealous. You won't even believe yeah, how your own family are trying to. That's, that's, I, that's I love that's how, that's how the Asian community do it. Yeah, the like, Asian you community. Have they, work together. They, they, work you know, together. they come back, live yeah. with you and your family, take care like of them. That's job. how it should be. Like at my job at Tyson, like you can see the mom, the daughter, and the the daughter's kids. They all work at Tyson, and they all live together, and they all don't pay taxes. And they all go home and, and take they care of the people. No, they, they, no. when you are foreign, <laughs> when you are foreign, you know. I'm saying back. that's the kind of stuff that kind of makes me. And mad. we foreign too, though. And right, because they brought us over here. The only thing is, we happen to be born, but they didn't give our ancestors nothing, and they built this. And country. that's the thing. We need. We do. And we the only people in the uh, that's country opinion. that haven't received some Anything. form of reparations. The Indians got that yeah. tribal and land. And when we mention it, we're called crybabies and needing to pull ourselves up. And that's why I'm going to accept the stimulus check. Every last one of them. I'm still waiting on that. I'm going to get that as well. Everybody, everybody gets a stimulus check. I need mine. If I don't get mine, I'm about to break Everything afforded to black people is always given to everybody. We never get anything. Of course. That's why we need to segregate. Not even our own culture. And we need to hold each other accountable. But it all starts with self, though. It all starts with self, though. In, in order for us to stop hating each it other, we, we got to stop hating yeah. ourselves, though. And that's the thing. We need to start loving You know what? I want everybody more. to succeed. But one thing I tell you, I don't want, I don't want nobody talking no shit to me or my goddamn kids. Okay? Because I don't, I don't do does. that. No, I don't do that. I don't say nothing about nobody, their kids, or whatever, because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. But everybody I know seem to have an opinion about me and mine. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's just, that's it's, it's just, it's just, hey, that's why I like to be by myself. I don't like to be around nobody because them backstabbing MFs, oh. That, that, and see, sense. that's the people that don't love themselves that, that do things like yeah, that. Speaking you know, of, we gotta, oh, go ahead, sorry. No, go ahead, sorry. No, uh, sorry. Um, speaking of that, Kevin Samuels. He's the one that really hates. But okay, keep okay. both. You see how him and Umar kind of had a little spat back and Kevin forth. Kevin Samuels him. really seems like he hates him. Like so. Umar Johnson and him, they promote healthy dialogue amongst black people. No, Kevin Samuels is not promoting no healthy dialogue. That motherfucker be so quick to tear somebody down. Yes. He, his, his complete approach is completely wrong. And then the fact that people 
follow him is just baffling to me because he is just so condescending and narcissistic and wants to believe that he is so above everybody and he's not he's not all these dudes that he done convinced oh y'all won't be able to get a high value man none of y'all motherfuckers are high value none of you not a one of you are high value not one of you and you're gonna tell me what i deserve fuck you that's not what you anyway oh i'm sorry uh, <laughs> like, okay, so he had told a story about him being in college, right? Oh my god, and yes. Kevin Samuels. So he was in college, he couldn't afford groceries, he went to a female friend house, she had sh uh, shrimp, lobster, and he asked her how could she afford everything. She had all of that. And she said, well, she gets the food stamps, she's a college student, she qualified for food stamps. So he's saying that women are at an advantage over males because they, they have get males. No, but what he was actually this is right. okay. So she was right. basically he never implying to him. He never even applied to she was basically implying to him. You qualify too. You can get food stamps. You can have other than just ramen noodles because he yeah. was complaining about yeah. eating ramen noodles and 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 in his head, what he heard was women have this safety net to where they don't need men. If you take away that safety net, all of a sudden, they're gonna need men again. No. What? We don't, don't have, have to have no men. And I'm not trying to bash guys, but we can, we do There's need nothing to be wrong with a woman doing stuff on her own. I don't think we did it. That would call to us need. gold diggers. You a gold yeah. digger, yeah. you gotta have a man yeah, yeah, to pay for you. Like, and that's, we need that's to support a, a woman in power, you know what I mean? Like, shout out to Leslie, uh, what's her name? Uh, that was in, um, uh, she doing the MTV movie awards. Jones. Leslie Jones. Shout yeah. out to her. You know what I mean? Like, my thing is, behind every great black man is a great black woman, right? And it seems like, so. It could be your mother, your sister. Right. Don't have to be your woman or your wife. Right. But we need to support these women in power and these women that is uh, uh, do have an advantage like that. We don't need to put them down and, and they read them. We need to support them and be there for I them. Guess it's behind I, I every guess, great man is a great black man. I guess black people been treated so bad, yeah. they don't know how to treat each other yeah, nice. That we, we, we it don't seem like yeah. they know how to treat each other nice. You yeah. know, I would rather for to see you do well than to do bad. Right, right. Yeah. I, I would rather talk nice about you. Right. Or you yeah, like to say bad. Right. Why and would you tell somebody, if somebody says to you, you know, um, uh, like it's one of the, the one thing, what made, turn me completely off of, Kevin Samuels was just one. I was never turned clip, on. But, no, I was never turned on, but people kept talking about him. I just went to a video of his once, and it was a girl who makes six figures herself, owns a business, and she wants a man that's basically just like her. She wants a guy on her level. And he told this woman, you're average at best. And she had a 13-year-old son, so some ain't no man that's making money like you making going want you and how she needs to lower I mean, no. her standards. I'm like, what the fuck you mean? You don't speak. And then how do you know what a six-figure man makes? You're right. not a six-figure man. Right, yeah. You're not even a six-figure. Like, how do you know what the next man is going to want? This is why, it, it, and dudes are just running away with this theory. And they're telling but the you women know, on the social media. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they're they're right negative they're about women. Right they're right running with the scenario and they're literally going into women's posts and comments see, and saying shit thing. like, but there are people you want to die alone. Like, yeah, you know, this that's is that's the that's biggest that's line that's they that's say. You're going to die alone. We all die alone. Nobody dying together. This is not the notebook. You know, nobody's dying together. But people like that, I don't even give them my... My or I won't even yeah. comment. But no, what it is is he has such a huge following that they're like flooding and into how can other. You, but that happens. The thing I don't get is how, and this is what I mean by like I ha I have to literally take breaks in social media because I don't. No, you can she cut social how, media. Off. How do people gravitate towards the negative stuff and not the positive? That thing? just shows the type of world that. we live in. I and, do not get and that, that because we were so abused by black people in general. Like Mama just said. We they were so abused. We, we yeah. don't know how to treat each other for real. We really don't. We treat uh, other nations better than you know. But I will tell you this: I like to be by myself. I like to be around my kids. You know what I mean? All you gotta do is do one thing too many to me, and I I'll just You'll be done. Cut y'all. I'm done. I'll be done. You know I can say hi, bye, whatever, but I'm not gonna hang around nobody that I really don't care for. Mm -hmm. And, and y'all know what I done been through, you know what I mean? So, like, I done been through to the bottom and, and you know, and I'm pulling myself back up gradually and I, I'm just, I just, 
I, I, I just see everything for what it's worth, man. You know what I mean? I don't stress out about how people treat me. Mm -hmm. I'm in a position right now to try to make myself and my uh, lineage and, and everything better. So it starts with me, you know, before I can blame anybody for what I've been through, it, it so starts with me. I got to look and I got to tweak the things inside me to, in order to learn how to love my people better. And, and it's all that stuff, it starts with the individuals. Once we cast out the, the evil feelings in them. The, the but the thing is, how do you cast out evil when it's around you? It's everywhere. Yeah. That's why you gotta cast it it's out. It's been around me since I was a kid. And yeah, people talk, me and my sisters talked about that. Say I said stuff, you know, when I was little. And the crazy thing is, I still feel that way. I still feel the way I did from when I was a little kid. And uh, one thing I want to say about the whole Kevin Samuels statement. So the same opportunities for assistance is out there for whether everybody, you're, whether, whether you're a man, man woman. Yes, it is true. And so, like I know when, when I was um, a young mom and I just had my daughter, and they even told me I caught like I made too much money yeah, mm -hmm. to get food stamps, and I would see like a single man having a job getting food stamps, and I'm like, what the hell? Like how how do I not qualify and have a child? And he qualifies, and it's just him. I and mean, he so, was working. That and he was crazy. working. You know, so I just, that's not, that's not true. But anything, I feel like a lot of men are cradled. More coddled. Than they, men more are than the most coddled women. people, but they love to project that onto women, it seems mm -hmm. like. Because with, with the Kevin Samuels cult, uh, it seems like what it is, they're always saying accountability, accountability at women. I'm like, when are y'all holding y'all selves accountable? How is it a woman's fault that you chose not to apply for food stamps? But How is it a woman's yeah, fault yeah. that you chose to live you in poverty? Look at the underlying issue of that. It, 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 I, I, I agree with some of it because it was like having to have the black man out the home in order oh, you to receive go. them. You got to leave. But, but that's, Wait a second, but did that, that happen that though? True, no, no, did that happen though? That's mean? why you know damn well all assistants saying they didn't have a man in the home. They was taking their shit, hiding their shit. They was living in them homes. But they shouldn't have had to hide their stuff that, because they were there. But they were still a divide, there. Though. That's but still but they were still there, so how is that? Like, uh, yeah, man, basically, it's like the woman and the man finessing the government saying, hey, yeah, we're going to pretend we like, I'm not here, so you can get but this But why help. should we have That's to do the, that, though? You shouldn't have to do it, but you chose to do it, so how all of a sudden it's her fault for doing it? It makes no sense. And that didn't kick you out the home. Y'all relationship went sour because that relationship went sour because probably it could have been because of finances because y'all were on Section 8 for 10 years now and the wife like, when you gonna do something? He's like, you know what I'm talking about? And then they break up and all of a sudden the welfare kicked me out the home. What the fuck? No, that's not what happened. All the men know damn well they were eating off them food stamps and they were living in them Section 8 houses. Them women were lying about yeah. not having a man in the home because we all have seen it we've all seen it that yeah, is what happened y'all lived in them homes y'all yeah. lived in them homes yeah in section no. 8 i used to be no, on no, no, i'm talking about listen. with a female oh, i never, now I never listen. been in them if that's a rule from the government why do you all blame the women yeah. No. All they all they did was no, come up with a way to do it. Okay. I was gonna say all they did was come up with a way to I'm basically But why do they say the government? Why why in the black community do they say that welfare kicked men out of the homes when that's yeah, not that's, true? That's the rule though. But but it was a rule you that was that, that we finessed. We finessed that yeah. rule. So we lied and said that men weren't in the home. It was we like were. But it still caused division between how? the man and the woman because it Nobody made the woman. It made the woman. It made the woman. It made the woman. It made the woman say, "Look, I don't need you. I'm still gonna have this roof nope. up my head. I'm if, still if she, gonna she have." She wouldn't even let you stay there from jump if she was just thinking like that. She wouldn't let you stay there there at all if that's what she was thinking from jump. Oh, let's go into some comments here. I'm like, like this subject bothers me because this is running rampant in the community and people really believe this shit. They I, not think that, that the I, I think a lot of people don't believe it, but they like to get on social media and talk shit. That's what I think. Okay. Yeah. It says, respect an independent woman that's grinding properly and doing right. what she can do to provide for yourself, uh, especially if she's black. Too many haters against us already. Right. Oh, I, I totally agree. agree. I agree, brother. And, and he yeah. says, you got to be able to learn as you grow. You can't 
can't blame others for how your life is. You yes. can't blame your others for how you're your speaking, life is. Be aware of the moment the and make adjustments. Y'all talking that shit. You you talking that you're shit, cousin. You're speaking the truth. You talking okay. that shit, cousin. Because like I don't get why people don't understand that. People always trying to hold other people accountable for shit that happens in their life. Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable yes. for what happens in your life. Right. All right, moving along, our uh, one of our well, we're almost to our last topic. I know that's why I asked him he wants to speak about. You forgot what the uh, it was, we should, like, he didn't really gotten everything now. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to jump into that right now? It don't matter. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, Ashwan had something he wanted to talk about, which is defund the police, which is like a new slogan, hashtag, where people are protesting to. And see, I, didn't even know I know that. I know everything about I didn't even know that, that that was I, know every, I got unfriended by a lot of people with, from, yeah. from saying, I just feel like uh, military I weapons I against civilians is yeah, that's not, silly. It is not useful. I mean, mm-hmm. if anything, it's putting us in danger mm-hmm. more than, than anything, you know what I'm saying? And them after school programs that got taken away, uh, have them, like the Hope Center and stuff like that, stuff that got taken oh, away. Gone? Like, we, yeah. we need. I didn't know that that was gone. Things like that for these kids to get out of the house and still be um, social. Like boys and, and, and girls clubs. Yeah, I, they spend too much money in the, on the police force. You know what I mean? And it's taken away from our community. Sorry, y'all gotta community. have my little shots. But that, I think if we defund the police office and, and get the after school programs back, that it, it'll help. Like, it would help. You know I don't get those. Right. You make money, like literally process and make money. Why? Are Why? You broke? It, yeah, I don't understand. Because that. it's rules to making the money. Please, I do I really. not understand that. I really don't. It's when rules. people say, and this like, is another thing to, that gets misconstrued, because a lot of people think, you know, I work and I pay my bills, and then I don't have no money after. That means I'm broke. No, you're responsible. You're right, paying right, to yeah. live. You're, if you're if all your money is gone because you paid your rent, paid your life, paid your electricity, pay, pay whatever, you got all your bills paid, you got groceries in the fridge, your kids is good, you are responsible. You're not broke. Right. What, what was your I mean, as long as you got a job and income, you would never be broke. I yeah. mean, that's the main thing. But I'm in America. Yeah. It balances. Yeah, it does. Because they can give it. us reparations because they make the money, but you know why they don't want to? We barely we need them it. now. Yeah. If if we got our own money, we would do our own thing and make yeah. our own communities. They don't want that. They want to be in the community looking and seeing what we're doing. They, they, have they have are the own. most, I should say, I don't know what that is, but they are the Control. most weirdest Control. people i ever seen because they they so busy trying to see what you're doing, they be messing up their own stuff. Yeah. Okay, this, yeah. this is, okay, the whole... I know a lot about defunding the police and it totally makes a lot of sense. People just don't like the wording of it. What it is is by defunding, instead of sending a bunch of money to police where they have militarized weapons and they're basically coming in to be violent, like if somebody has a mental episode, you send mental health facility yeah. people to yeah, help you know, them. Don't send somebody with guns. with guns that's like, the moment you do the wrong thing, this is a person having a mental issue. Yeah, so it I makes, had, no, sense somebody, it, it makes no sense It makes no sense to have a person that's got a gun that's going to kill you the moment you don't do what they say when this person is having a mental issue. You know episode. what would be, uh, would be good too if they actually had like some kind of agreement with um, therapists, psychologists to go on scene when yeah. the police is called. I don't think, I don't think the police should even be involved at all. I think there should be their their own organization the of healthcare why, workers to go into these situations. But the only reason why I said with the police is because you never know what may stem from the situation. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying it would be a good idea to have an agreement with a, you know, a, a psychotherapist, a psychologist, a therapist, yes, and have them go in first, yes, and try to defuse situations so that can really help See if, if going to a mental facility would be better than being arrested, things like that. Why not do that? I yes, don't, I don't understand. That's that. one thing, but then another thing is traffic stops. There is no need for police to be involved in traffic stops. When there is a traffic violation, whether it's expired tags or no tags or speeding, whatever the case may be, there should be a group of, group of people who are unarmed write you a ticket. Or like the cameras where it flashes, mm-hmm. sees you on the highway, you get a ticket in your mail because your place you're registered to your address. Mm-hmm. So they can send you a ticket in the mail. That, that would be more efficient and you won't have to worry about people dying during traffic stops 
because of people in their overzealous emotions and stuff like that. Like, there is no reason for somebody to die because they had expired you know what tags I, you know or what they I didn't think. have insurance or something like that. I that, think in a sense, difference. the police is necessary if they have those who are police people that are um, trained well and had, like, real psych tests. Because I feel like some situations police are necessary. In some situations, I'm saying but, the vast majority they're not. But I'm saying there, there's no way for us to really determine that. A traffic stop can turn to somebody coming yeah, out and trying to kill me. You know, if I get in a crash and somebody hit me and I try that to... That wouldn't happen if it was a camera. Exactly. And no, but you know what? Well, the only thing that's going to happen, happen... You need to have the, the both two police officers and somebody there that's... Like a therapy. Yeah. yeah, yeah I agree. But what yeah. I'm gonna say is, I could be somebody can hit me, and I get out, try to toss them, and they pull a gun out on me and kill me. Then the only thing that they have on camera is now this whole big investigation. Well, oh, the car accident is different than just the traffic violence. No, I, I feel like if sometimes everybody is dry, everything smooth on wrong, this person. But if is you could have a great officer, like the time I was talking about earlier when I got hit and how police officers really yeah. came out and helped, I think they're necessary. But I feel like they need to be evaluated better. Mental. They're mental, yeah. They're, mental they're, they're mental. And they yeah, should they to be checked they out should, better. Most officers that they hire should want to help the community, not boss the community. Yeah, right. Because right. that's where the problem no, is. Yeah. That's me. You know, most of them think they die. No, they're no, hard. No, they're no, hard no, and no. If you were a cop, but if you, know, you were a cop and you, and you were patrolling your neighbors, do you think you would act a little different patrolling you, your neighbors than you yeah. would if you went to a completely different but, neighborhood but, where you knew nobody? You, you know, know what? Come from and act a goddamn fool, but in your own neighborhood, you're gonna be on your best you behavior. Know, you know where most police officers come from? The Outside military. of the community. No, they come from the military. They come nah, from, I wouldn't say they, all of them they, come from the military, but they come from outside of the community. Wars, they, they, they come from they wars where they, they kill people. Got PTSD. Look, if you look up the uh, most police officers working, they vets and in, in, in military, been in the military, they didn't been in war and then kill people. So they, they, the closest thing to that is a police officer. The right to kill and get away with it. So a lot of them is coming into the force. They, a, lot, a lot of them coming I, into I, the I force already messed up. There, in there. I don't think uh, cops are not necessary for traffic violations. They're, they're not, not necessary for a lot of things. No, I'm not saying not this for that. For I'm saying that for some because people. that is not a dangerous situation. A woman if somebody, with an expired tag or somebody speeding is some, not listen, a risk. If somebody, if somebody runs a stop sign that could potentially be harm for other people driving. It's a violation, but it if is. they didn't hit anybody. But, but if a cop was there to pull them off to stop them, I think that would be pretty good. But they are also hazardous time. because they can also hit somebody. Like, just like yesterday, I was driving my brand the light, and although I had the green light, but that doesn't mean that, that cops up. are needed versus people that cops are necessary stop. for certain no, situations. They're not, not for but that the right ones need so to be somebody hired. deserves yeah. to get shot. That, no, I said, I said the right ones need to be hired. Right meaning that there should be a different process. Not, not given that much power, no, though. That's why be, I'm talking. They could also that it could be given as hazard. No, and they don't even need as hazard. What the fuck do you need to do something to do that? A lot of people don't know how somebody. Stuff, they do take yeah. off and run. You never know how someone well, that's react. why you use their because place. Listen, you have their address. No, you send that but stuff listen, to them. That somebody, not somebody that you pull over, even if it's for a minor stop sign, they may have mental health issues. Yeah. And you may Which have re more reason. No, to I didn't say shoot. I said, I said there's mace and there's tasers in case they come at they you. They shouldn't even go to the mace or the taser is what I'm if saying. If somebody's coming at you to attack you, no, no, I would back off. You got their you got their license. Have guns. Yeah, they got their license plate, and you can send that shit to the court. They can strip them of their licenses, their driving privileges. But that, but that is not something that needs to turn violent. Like people that drive, that that don't, that's not that, something that, that needs to turn violent. I, I don't think I there's say, any traffic violation that, that it should turn, me that it I can say it should turn violent. That. I said take away the guns and have a different hiring process. Yeah. And they also have, 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 yes, also have on site when, when, th when there's a disturbance and you receive a, a call, like I said before, psychotherapists, regular therapists, um, come out. There should be a whole like, other group. Cops shouldn't even be involved with them. But sometimes <laughs> cops are That's necessary to defuse They're not necessary. And then if you, if the hiring process is set up differently, so you're not hiring people that are cuckoo, mm -hmm. like, it would be it would be a better step. That's all I'm saying. But you, you have, have no way of knowing that. This is you. You don't know. Yes, you do. You know no, you don't know. You're giving a cuckoo person a gun. You can't kind of tell. But I said not to have guns. 
I said a taser on me. Because if the first thing they is, don't, you don't hire me, but know. if you be in training, and them people always grabbing the guns, they don't need to be a police officer. Yeah, you know what but, I mean? But Nisha, yeah. let's think about they it. Even if there's a whole nother group, right? You're saying a whole nother group, but it should be a completely different department. Department, right? And they're not called cops. They still can have the same attention that those who are cops have. Just because the name is different, weapons. But because the name is different, doesn't mean anything. They can still be those. But they don't need weapons. Because they're not have weapons. That's the main thing. But I literally said tasers and mace. Tasers don't kill people. Mace doesn't kill people. Some people, yeah, they need something because some people with mental health. They do don't get violent. Yeah. They do get and violent. Trust me, and trust me, I say every other drug, drug driver. But listen, well, do not trust me, I say every episode, I work in the field where nobody has mental health issues. And sometimes that shit may come in handy. Use the cameras then. And that case, there shouldn't even be one why have a person so, so you know, said let the crazy people run the, run the world yeah, yeah. you said let the crazy people run no, the world no, okay. I'm not. if nobody don't pull up, that's what you're saying no, oh no, that's, that's just crazy. sending them shit I'm out how many times is that the a crazy house? person was actually okay to we, got, we got we got we have to move on to our final topic because if the video is too long i can't post it on instagram <laughs> we already have 50 minutes i'm supposed to make the last topic go quickly so little Boosie made a comment stating that TV has a gay agenda, meaning that TV is basically pushing on kids to be gay. I feel Opinion. Boosie in a way. I feel Boosie in a way because it's in the cartoons and it's in the commercials. I, I feel him in a way, but I don't think it, like we talked about earlier, I don't think anybody can be turned gay. You either born gay or not. You cannot be influenced. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 You, you ahead, Nisa, because I don't know. You cannot be influenced to be a sexuality. I don't give a damn how much peer pressure you're in. It. You only going to want to do that shit if you are already in that shit. Yeah. Can no, can't nobody peer pressure yeah. you to like the opposite sex if yeah. you are not attracted to the opposite sex. The same way, like, if, if that logic made any sense, why are there gay people? Gay people deal with being put in straight camps where they try to influence them to be straight. And that doesn't work. So if you could be influenced to be a sexuality, why are there gay people? They grew up their whole lives having to see only thing but straight people. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you think straight people are at risk from seeing gay people exist on TV? That makes no sense. Yeah. It makes absolutely and no sense. But it shouldn't be pushed in the kids' face. It's not pushed in the kids' face. What it is is People are trying to educate kids that these people exist. So when you go to the grocery store and there's a gay couple shopping in that store, your kid doesn't blurt out, what is that? Or, you know, say something completely disrespectful to this couple kids when they're minding their business. Kids, 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 are kids are mad disrespectful. I think what they're trying to do is educate kids that these people exist. And keep in mind that there are gay couples that have children. There are kids that have two moms. There are kids that have two dads. There are kids that come from these different types of families, and they mm -hmm. probably want to see a family like that on their yeah, cartoon. I <laughs> uh, I'll say um, I, I agree with you, Nisi. Um, I don't feel like there's a gay agenda. I think it's good because you don't want anybody to feel left out. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it is good to let them see like their family image on TV. Um, and again, if someone is gay. Maybe that just makes it, you know, make them feel like it's okay to express yourself and be who you are. Um, and again, like with the being straight, if it, if it was a agenda, it would be a straight agenda. Yeah, it would be a straight agenda because, because be, I mean, you know, look at what gay people have gone that. through. They commit suicide at high rates because they don't want to be gay because everybody tells them. They tell, people tell them that God hates them. I think people tell them that God, is, and if that doesn't influence you to be straight, ain't nothing going to influence you. I think that what is, people are just uncomfortable maybe with their kids learning yeah. that at an early age, and, and they ain't gotta watch it. Turn and, I, and I completely understand that. Yeah, um, but again, I don't think there's a gay agenda. There is not a gay. You agenda. like women. If you're a woman, you like women, and you like women. If you're a man, you like men. What's the agenda to accept it? It is agenda. You should accept. You you don't have to accept it, but they're gonna be here whether you accept it or not. So uh, you accepting right. it is a personal I mean, problem, not a gay community problem. And that's what people don't, people don't understand. Not, it's like people I'm want to people want to force their own about, ideas on the rest of the world. Like saying, I don't have to accept it. Well, why are you talking about it? Don't watch the show. Change the channel. These people are gonna be here and exist 
anyone. Just like whether they, you accept uh, it or not. And then it's like nowadays people complain about every little thing. Because even everything. at even at Disneyland they have like now the Snow White um little amusement area. And it says that he, the prince, kisses her without consent. It's like all the people are like bullshit. pissed off, saying uh, you're you're saying it's okay to take advantage of women. Don't watch it. You know. Uh, <laughs> that's some Karen type shit. Cause that's ridiculous. And then there was also we gotta talk about uh, that next time. <laughs> Karen shit. I, I seen some yeah. of the videos. Oh, I seen some crazy shit too. And then it was a lot of Karen getting their ass whooped. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. like things that was okay. Like when I was a kid and we watched those things, it did not face me. It honestly but we it also was, didn't know. No, we also but, didn't know that Miranda Stimpy was gay. No, but they they put that. But they it didn't, didn't have, have an influence. But on it us. didn't have an influence on us. And then remember, we watched Powerpuff Girls. Remember oh, him? Man, he walked. This is a man in a pink tutu with some high knee high boots on. Talking with the sweetest voice ever. I we think nowadays people are just too. We didn't think, oh, this motherfucker is gay. We didn't think that, but he was clearly flamboyant. And we just like the cartoon. People we, are just, It had nothing to do with what we were attracted to. Yeah. Nothing, nothing to do with it. It comes down like to cartoon. people try to control what yeah. everybody does. People are literally yes. just. And that's too, not going to happen. People, not everybody gonna wants to be accepted, but don't want other people to be accepted. accepted. Like, yeah, how you going to advocate for don't treat me bad, but let's yeah. treat these people yeah. bad? That yeah. makes no Every, sense. Everything is. Uh, it's, it's a, everybody seems to be. Not everybody, but it's a lot of uh, hypocrisy going on. And then. I uh, say nowadays people are too sensitive, yeah. especially with social media. You have platforms to express how you feel, so yeah. these definitely get blown out of proportion more than what it was back in the nineties, eighties, yeah. whatever. Well, I can't say that I don't care because I do care. I do care about young men being homosexuals and stuff like that. Because in my, when I read the Bible and when I learned that, don't say it. It, 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 it's it God created that. women for it men. God, but but, God, but that's what God 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 created God. women. Yeah, we're gonna because I, 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 yeah. that's that, that's very loaded because right, what does that have effect on you if another man we, decides to sleep with another man? We're gonna what be we're gonna uh, continue but this not conversation. Business. That's to change him and God. No, that's we're, not gonna, not we're gonna continue this conversation next Sunday. F one will be back. Please tune in. Sorry, I have to end it because. I can't and I the around, the round, but do what uh, y'all want because it's that's your uh, business. Thank y'all for joining. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Happy Mother's Thanks Day. Thanks for joining. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was over 60 months.